now it's time to throw a leg over Suzuki's big bore standard, the GSX 1400. At the heart of this retro-inspired beast is a thoroughly modern, fuel-injected, air-oil-cooled 1,402cc engine that delivers gobs of power through a six-speed transmission to its fat six-inch rear wheel. Meanwhile, up front you'll find a 46mm cartridge fork boasting dual discs and aluminum six-piston caliper brakes. Now, the GSX 1400 is currently only available in Japan, but Suzuki Canada is considering the idea of bringing the bike to Canada. So we decided to do our own test marketing experiment. We asked a guy who owns over 40 motorcycles to give us his impression. And here's what Ed Viancourt had to say after a day in the saddle. So Ed, you've been riding for a half a century, I understand. What was your first impression of this motorcycle? It's beautiful. It's well done. It's well tailored. It's um, every little thing you look at on it is just well honed. And the paint, all the body work, the cylinders, it's, um, it's a work of art. It's beautiful to look at. It's got so much power, mm -hmm. and but everything, works well. Yeah. Um, a, an amateur wouldn't want to be on this motorcycle. It's got that kind of power that you can get in a lot of trouble in a hurry. You have to understand motorcycling yeah. at a good level. Did you notice, I mean, even though we had 1400 cc's, the clutch was like featherly light. Uh, the clutch was excellent. And I, even though it's very, very hot today too, and I never heard the fan come on once, and I did double check to see if it come on, so it must be a good cooling bike with a yeah. big oil cooler it has on the front. Yeah. What about the way it stops? It stops on a dynamic change, front and back right. Right. I found it was a really nice riding position for me. I found the same. The seat, I was amazed. It was, it was an excellent seat, and I would never pay to change this seat. So for uh, somebody that wants a well-rounded out type of muscle bike and not a long distance tourer, uh, this would certainly be the bike, and if you want Power like you never had it. Yeah, this is certainly it. What did you think of the uh, the the sound of the bike? It seemed awful quiet to me. It's it's whisper quiet. Yeah. I can't fault this motorcycle. Like I can say it's a fraction heavy, but that's the price you got to pay for a big displacement with that kind of power. And if you want power, it's not heavy enough that it's going to bother you that much. Right. And of course, a person maybe 20 years younger than me might not even notice that weight. Yeah. I, I kind of like the weight. I, I, it just felt very planted, very stable. I put it into a corner, and it just felt like it just wanted to live there. Well, uh, once you're moving, the weight's not an issue. It cornered well. Yeah. If you had to advise Suzuki about who the customer might be, I'm going to put you on the spot. Who would buy this bike? Who would be interested in this bike? I think the type of person to buy this bike would be um, lots of people. Um, 40 to uh, 55 would buy this motorcycle. Right. Along with some younger people. One thumb up, two thumbs up, where would you put this bike? I would rate it 10 out of 10. And uh, I've rode ha half a century and probably more than a million miles. That's pretty good. 10 out of 10, huh? You sure? Absolutely sure. Okay. Ain't no doubt about it. Thank you, Ed. It's been a great day.